Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your photos from this to this. Let's get started. Cue intro. All right, uh, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to learn how to edit cityscapes, but do it like a cyberpunk-ish style in Lightroom. So this is for beginners. If you guys are intermediate or experts, you guys can either uh, follow along or you, can, you guys can skip on this one. This is just geared towards people that just want to learn how to how I edit and understand my process. So let's get started. All right, first, we're going to start with this photo that I took in New York City. So yeah, it was a huge compliment when I keep uh, getting uh, people telling me that, oh yeah, your, your work reminds me of Blade Runner, your work reminds me of that cyberpunk style, which is which is pretty cool because uh, like I did not watch that movie before in my life. I did not watch the first Blade Runner and I did not watch the, the updated Blade Runner with Ryan Gosling. So I have no idea what people are talking about. I've seen, I've seen uh, frames and stills of it and I can see what you guys mean by that. But um, for me, my style is just... Um, I just like to be bright. I just like to be colorful. I just like it to be dark and gritty. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you today. And I'm going to give you guys the link to these photos so you guys can follow along. And I'm going to try to edit in these photos and see what we can come up with. Let's go. So first is this photo we got here. It's, it's a pretty cool photo. I think it's a little, it's a little crooked but I like the way, I like the angle of it because it's more dynamic. It's uh, this guy, he works, this gentleman right here, I think he works for a, a restaurant and he's trying to call a cab for a customer. I think that's what it is. And you know, it's a New York scene because of this uh, cab right here. That's how you know we're in New York City because of the yellow cabs. I don't think anywhere else in the world has yellow cabs. Okay, so what I like to do first, for those that are uh, using Fujifilm, like you have all these profiles right here right my favorite profile i like to work on is classic chrome so we're going to change it to classic chrome and give that as a base to start off with that's that's exactly how i like to start my photos just working off the base of a film simulation and for you guys that are using like sony and canon and Nikon and stuff, you guys have your own profiles up here too. Just pick the one that suits you best and what, what you like to work off uh, as a base. Uh, that, that way for me anyways, I get inspired more. So let's get started, shall we? So first of all, I like to bump up the exposure a little bit. See what we're working with. Okay, that's about right. And then I go into the highlights. And you can see there's some clipping already. So I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit. Bring it down all the way. Some clipping is fine. Like I, I really don't care. Like people, people are so technical with their work nowadays. They don't want any clipping at all. When it comes to the blacks, when it comes to like the, the whites, they don't want blown highlights. But I think that having, having blown highlights is okay. Because I, I feel like it adds to it. I don't want my photos to be technically perfect. I had, I have had conversations with people on Reddit when they were trying to tell me that my highlights were blown and <laughs> I had to say, yeah, that, that was my intention because if I were to make this technically sound and not have anything clipped, then it would be a boring photo, at least with the blown highlights, it gives off like a mood that I was going for. So, yeah, so for me, clipping is fine. Let's move on. And then from there, I would try to whoop, bring up my whites a little, bring up my shadows, and then we're gonna push down our black, okay? So if you wanna know how to get to this white screen, you hold down the option, option on Mac. I think that's also an alt. And that should be fine. And let's see what I'm working with. Okay, now everything looks good, but I think it's a little too bright. I want it a little bit darker and grittier. So we're gonna bring back the exposure a little bit and maybe bring up 
bring out the highlights and then this is where I get a little crazy I like to play honestly with the looks you're just trying to slide slide around get the look that you want for me I think 22 is okay let's look it's crispy and then we're gonna bump up our vibrance a little bit and then our saturation now this is where this is where this is where my work becomes very vibrant and very colorful it's because of this but again you guys should do this in moderation you guys don't want to push it all the way to the right because then your images break down and it just looks smeared and ugly so i think for me anyways um this setting is uh a good spot to be at any any more it just becomes too much all right and let's see what else we're working with and then as you can see this and this frame here is kind of it's kind of warm and orange and what I like to do I like a lot of blues in my shots so I would go to the white balance and cool it off and that's when we're gonna start seeing the colors already and you can see the blues are coming in and this is what we want this is how we're going to get that cyberpunk look that everyone loves and you can see the blue lights here that that looks sick already already like all these lights uh, framing are coming up blue and it already looks like you're in a you're in a what's the word a new city a high-tech city a futuristic city because you, you don't see lights like this in real life and then what I like to do for this creatively, this is an artistic choice, is change the tint. Okay, and then we're gonna make we're gonna make the blues into a little bit of green, a little bit of teal, a little bit of cyan right here. So right off the bat, I think this is starting to look good, just like that. And then what I am going to do next is play with the tone curves okay just make your s curves just see what you're working with let's see if there's any clipping oh yep yeah. see bright spots on the lights bright spots here let's see if we can fix that a little it doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to look good let's bring down yeah just bring down the highlights and this is what i do like when when things when things start to look blown, I just readjust. So everything about every time I do this, I, I am constantly readjusting to my liking. Okay, so we're good with this. And then here is where the fun begins. This is where we do the coloring. And this is my favorite uh, because you get to go crazy on it and see what kind of colors you can come up with. The reason why I love Fujifilm so much is because of its sensor okay it picks up these weird it picks up these colors not weird colors it picks up these colors and then when you go into uh, photoshop or lightroom you can manipulate it and it's easy to grab these colors i remember i remember shooting with like a sony and and a nikon and a canon and they they couldn't get the colors that i want but fuji can so that's why i really like fuji and we're just gonna play around with it and to get the colors that we want, okay? So I don't see anything that I want here. And then I'm just gonna move the orange closer to the reds a little bit, bring this back to zero. And then yellow, yellow, I'm gonna make this orange, just a smidge. And then you, you see the greens right now, like, the greens around this area right here we're just going to we're just going to push it to the blue so it can match with the lights and and this is what i this is what i do all the time i just i just play around and then adjust it to taste okay this is all your preference preference guys so <clears throat> Let's see, with the aqua, I like it to be a little bit of teal. And then I already know, like the blues right here. So 
purple doesn't look good with this color scheme so we're, we're gonna push the blues to the teal side as well and this is where we have more of a cohesive and com complementary tones right now with the orange teal look one of the most famous looks in Hollywood cinema and then let's see I think I, the yellow could be toned down a little bit, desaturated a little bit. We don't need that much. And so could the orange right there. And then I think everybody everywhere else looks fine. Let's see. And then we're going to illuminate the blues a little bit. So I would, I'd like to make it bright so that it's the it pops, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. And split toning. I don't know if I want split toning on this. We'll see. I think the I think the image looks good already. Let's see what we can come up with. Let's see. I'm gonna go with green. Green the highlights. There we go. And then um I want like a maybe a dark blue in the shadows to give it that cool vibe. That oh, there it is. And you, you see the colors are coming together. It's gluing together a little bit more. Let's bring this up. And again, guys, everything in moderation. Don't overdo it. Uh, just a little bit goes a long way, okay? <clears throat> okay, so next is sharpening. And for sharpening, I you don't want everything to be sharpened. My masking, my sharpening process is just around 75 so it can get all the edges everything in white is going to be sharpened because you don't want every you don't want all you don't want everything to be sharpened because that's your, your photo is going to look weird so just the edges so we're going to mask it so that the white areas are sharpened and i think with this i like i like my sharpening to be around 60. what else is there um don't worry about the noise reduction i i think it looks fine the way it is sharpen the center and yep sharp here everywhere sharp and then we're going to auto see sometimes sometimes when you put uh when you transform it to make it upright it loses its uh feeling like in terms of photos i i don't like Although this is correct, you want your buildings to be straight. I prefer it this way. And we're going to crop it. I forgot to crop. You're gonna crop for Instagram, which is the four by five. And then I'm gonna go right here down the center. And I think that should be good. See, uh, I, like, I like it a little bit slanted. It shows a little bit of a dynamic a, a shot going on and it just looks like you know it looks weird it looks it fits the cyberpunk aesthetics it just yeah i just i don't know uh to me this on an angled with the slanted building looks more looks a lot better than <laughs> the ones without it the ones straight in so we're just gonna keep it like that and then with uh with me i i like to put a vignette on my photos so there's this two couples i mean this couple right here or customer and a worker getting her a taxi we are going to put them in the center and then just make it more make it darker and make it gritty so like again pictures are coming together and for grain um i'm not gonna put any grain on this we don't need grain and then with these with this calibration this is where you can go and adjust more tones if you want if you know how to play with this again this is all experiments you you slide it left or right to see which one you like but i think for this photo i'm just going to keep it as is because i like the way it looks so if we are if we're going to look at the before and after simple 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 i like it what do you guys think wow that's 18 minutes already jeez 
have four photos and then I'm going to do them all. It's going to be the same process. I'm just going to show you what I did. So yeah, I think that's about it. This is how the, this is how the photo looked. I think when I shared it on Facebook, I don't think it's like the right match because I'm doing this off by head. Um, but it's very close to what I had. And this is what you guys wanted. Something uh, cyberpunk is some, something that looks like otherworldly. And I think we got it down with this one, one image. Okay, I have three more images and we're just gonna go by really quick. I'm gonna give, I think it's going to be the same process as how I did with this photo. And we're just gonna move along quickly. So we are going to do this, put as a base, and then we're gonna raise our exposure. Okay, so, so you know, another thing that I, I would like to say is like, oh, you guys should know how far you can push the dynamic range in your cameras. If you can do that, you can have so much flexibility in post and you know, you can see, you can still save a shot. That's all I gotta say, well, moving on. So let's go bring down the highlights all the way down and then look, sharpen the center sharp yep we good and look at this 1200 1250 14 at 180th of a second i don't think i i didn't think i had um ibis at the time so yeah that was crazy <laughs> i don't know how this became so sharp but yeah that looks pretty dope and this is from the manhattan bridge overlooking shot through chinatown in New York City and then we got the fence chain link chain link fence to frame up Chinatown which is pretty cool and then I boosted up my shadows get that detail back and then the the lights the whites let's bring that up and then we can we can bring back we can bring up the blacks a little bit get some of those clouds in there the mist and then because we brought that back the blacks I'm going to pull down my shadows we want that dark grittiness to it. So we're going to bring it down right there. That looks pretty dope. And then again, so we're going to do 23 clarity, 23 vibrance and 23 saturation. And okay, you're, you're, this photo is starting to come together. But again, like it's too warm for me. This is too warm. And then when, when I see a lot of warmth, in my images i would like to cool it and this is what we do okay there we go we cool it and there's a there's a lot of magenta in it so we are going to also bring the greens back okay that's starting to look cool and, we, and then contrast oh fuck i forgot to put contrast in the other one. Oh, oh well so if you want to add contrast in the first picture, I don't think I did. 22 contrast, that's where I like it too. So boom, that's, that's it. We're gonna do the same here, 22 contrast. And then do the S curve again, if needed. We're gonna bring up the fade a little bit. S curve. And then another S curve. Let's see where we're we at. Boom, two boom. That looks pretty cool. A little white. Bring that. Yeah, everything is about adjusting to taste. Okay, so it's for me. That's how I work. And then I'm gonna slide around. I think I like the reds to be a little bit scarlety looking. And then for the orange tones, I like it to be more uh, red too. See, and, and then the yellow. You see, we're gonna make it red. It's closer to the red and green. Green. How would I do green? I think green. Boom. And then blue. Aqua. So for aqua, hmm. I 
think I'm leaning towards the blue and let's see the blue. Um, the blue stays the same in this image anyways, and then we're gonna keep doing this. Um, then let's see, I think I'm gonna bring down the saturation of the yellows. It looks too, uh, it's too distracting in my eyes. It looks too green and I'm gonna bring down the greens as well. Desaturate the green, maybe bring this back up. And with the aquas, I like a little bit of aqua in the sky. You can see there's this in the sky, which makes it look pretty cool, futuristic. And that's the name of the game in today's tutorial is how to make it look futuristic cyberpunk style. And this is what this is what we do, people. You just play around until you get something that looks pretty good. I can't say that enough because <laughs> Every time people ask me, how, how did you uh, get this color? And like, honestly, the only way I tell them, I know I sound rude because I'm not being very helpful, but all I can tell them is I slide, I slide my sliders around until I get something that looks good. And that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is, this is what you guys need to do if you guys want your pictures to stand out. It's just fuck around with these knobs, dude and just get cracking. And let's see, for the highlights, let's make it a little teal, get that going on. Oh yeah, that looks pretty dope. 21 and for the shadows, I'm gonna, I'm feeling a little green too. So let's see how that looks. Boom. Okay, sharpening again. Let's mask it up to like 80, 80, yeah, let's do that, 80. And then we're gonna bring this sharpening up to 60 some more. Hello. And then let's see, upright transform it. And then we're gonna crop it for Instagram, okay? So four by five, boom, Bob's your uncle. That looks pretty dope to me, I think. Let's see, highlights a little blown. Uh, we'll bring this back and then we'll mess around with it. See, it's all messing around, guys. Oh, that looks pretty dope, I might say. And then another vignette. And then with this, we're gonna add a radial filter just so that it draws our viewers into the center of the frame. So we're gonna invert it, press O, and then, whoops, bring this back, bring this back. And then we're just gonna bump it up by 0.2. Let's see, there we go, perfect. And then, again, calibration, use, oh, look, we're gonna change it up, see? We're changing up the tones already. And I kind of like it like that. We're gonna decrease, the, desaturate the blues a little bit, desaturate the reds just a little bit, then move, saturate the greens. And before and after. Good. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. <clears throat> okay, so moving on, we got this next one. Uh, this is the Brooklyn Bridge, I think. I'm not too sure. It's take it's taking so long ago. We're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so classic chrome. Just let's bump up the exposure. Let's let's do our crops and stuff now. Get it over with. There, four by five for the Instagram page center i like the bridge to be in the dead center boom and then we're going to do the same process guys then shadows up and blacks down contrast up and again let's see 
it's a little too plain for me so what are we going to do we're going to change the temperature and when we do that it's already looking very different okay black's crushed a little bit i don't mind that 23 clarity 23 vibrance and then with this one i think i'm gonna have to push up the blacks to be honest uh, let's try that let's bring up the blacks 100 and then bring bring the shadows down and then we can pull this back right there i think that looks that's a good spot and then again we're going to do a little bit of the s curve and this is this is all i do you honestly you can just create one uh preset and then just do it for all of them and this is this is what i this is how i edit this is my entire process um i don't do anything special uh again it's all sliding knobs man <laughs> like there's there's no way around that if you guys want to develop your own style you're going to have to like experiment and i'm really big on just trying it out and experimenting a lot of people want to know the secret sauce but they don't want to put in the work to see how it's made i guess you can say they just they just want the end product they don't know the like how much work goes be, uh, behind that product so yeah i'm just i'm just waffling too much okay so with this one let's see i like that teal look though that teal look uh fits the mood some people overdo it it's just everything in what's the word everything in moderation i guess so we're gonna desaturate the orange because i don't like this i don't like i don't like orange stuff like this it's it, it's distracting to me maybe we bring down the luminance yeah bring down the luminance sounds good and then bring up the blue luminance we want that up just a smidge and bring down the blues and for this one how about we go like green let's try green yeah and then again i like i like my shadows to be in the blues shows it shows the coldness and for me when i was at when i was here it was raining i was cold um i just want to get the hell out of here so you can see all the mist and all the lights reflection on the streets because of uh, the rain. So this is how this is how I saw it mixed with um, what I wanted to portray is that New York City like winter vibes. And again, sharpening. We're going to go to sharpening. Just eighty for me, and then oops, eighty. 80 for me and then sharpening to 60 60 boom and then forget the grain and then we're gonna auto whoa we're just gonna keep it like that <laughs> sometimes it be like that and then boom yep crop leave the grain and then again calibration if you want to change the way it looks make it more orange and teal i think that's a cool vibe and then yeah all experimenting guys don't be afraid to experiment like really really experiment this is how you are going to develop your own style i can't it sounds like i'm beating on a dead bush or a horse whatever it is you say it sounds like you're beating on a dead horse, but once you do this, you'll be so happy that you did because then you know how things work, you know which sliders works, uh, you know what colors go well together, everything. Like this is why I always preach this and yep, keep sliding knobs until you find something that looks good, okay? Last one, here we go. So it was these two strangers walking, like you could see the raindrops everywhere it was raining hard and let's see ISO 1250 at 80 per 80th of a uh, second and those two in the center sharp and that's what we want and we're gonna do the same thing guys boom 
bring it up, bring the shadows up a little, bring the whites up, bring the blacks up, and then we're gonna bring the highlights down. Excuse me. And again, this is all experimenting, but then again, 23 clarity, 23 vibrance, 23 saturation. Oh, and I forgot to do that. Change it to classic chrome. And then, so, in this in this shot right here we 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 see this orange light right here it's it's a little too warm so what we're gonna do we're gonna cool it and then we're going to bring it back so we can get that like greenish effect and this looks a lot better to me than just a straight up orange uh, sh uh lighting and then again just do the s curve to taste however you like it And then bring up the blacks here again. This is me just adjusting to Jace, uh, <laughs> adjusting to taste after I got my curves in. Okay, so there you have it. And let's see what we're working with. We're gonna bring down the orange a little bit. Okay, let's see if there's any green here. There are, we're gonna bring that out a little. Let's see, and yeah. There's no secret to it. This is, this is what I do, all the freaking time, like, and then I like it that teal look. Gives it more of a complimentary tone right now. And yep, that's all. It's there. So we're gonna bring down the orange a little bit. What should we put up the orange? Hmm. Okay, we bring it down. Don't need too much orange and yellow. Yellow, bring it down, and then. Aqua boost up. I like a lot. I like I like blues in my shot. This is how you make it futuristic, right? That dark, that grittiness. And yeah, and I like to say that you know uh, I'm giving you four raw files, so you guys can just uh, what's the word? rinse and repeat this is exactly what i do just rinse and rinse and repeat i do this to all my photos taken in similar lighting situations and i see what i can come up with doing the same process when you do the same process you you start to develop that eye and you start you start to know like what you like and what you don't like and then from there like you know you have a better sense to how to where to take your photos next time and this is how you develop that style because like again like i didn't seek out to be known as like to like my my vibrant photos my vibrant colorful photos i didn't seek out for it to be um cyberpunk aesthetics but it, it just happened to be that way because of what I like like the darkness the grittiness and the colorful like that that's that's what I like in my photos and yep again just repeating the process and let's see let's, yeah let's put up the luminance so it gives you that futuristic vibes put the greens down what can we do with this hmm Yeah, let's do that again. And then let's make it teal in the shadows and boom. Bob's your uncle. 80 mask. Sounds about right. And then we're going to go to 60. And then let's straighten it out. Sure, why not? And then we're gonna give it some vignetting and we're gonna crop it for Instagram. Four by five is it. And then I like to make them dead center in the middle, right there, this looks about good. And let's see, I can make it more. There we go. And yep, that's just me. That's just me adjusting to taste. After I finish everything, I go back and I see if I can make it look better. And I think that looks decent enough. Oh, I forgot to play with the color color version. Let's do that. 
Okay, let's make it teal a little bit in orange. And let's see, yeah, let's bring it over there. Nope, we're gonna leave that alone. And then we're gonna boost up the greens. And we forgot to put the saturation in. Let's, let's make it that gritty, that darkness. You got it. And let's see, boom. See, you see how much like clipping there is in this like I don't mind it at all like look when you leave it when you pull back the highlights you still it just looks well, to me anyways it just looks dead and not full of life so for me anyways like you it's it's about the vibe like it doesn't have to be technically sound you, you're obviously gonna see some like you're lost in details but uh, that really doesn't matter to me it's the subject right this is like the entire frame of the shot shows um shows uh you know a better story like like so so what who cares about these blown highlights like yes they're blown and yes it's not technically sound but that's what makes like that that what that's for me anyways this is what makes a photo look good looks good it's just like like you want all this highlights just hitting you like all in your face with like sensory sensory overload and then it just makes for um uh, ethereal is that the word ethereal feeling uh a feeling of like a dystopian future it just feels very airy and futuristic and that's that's what you're trying to go for and let me see I think I am done here. Yep, I think I, I am done. Okay, there you have it. That's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something from this video. I'm not really a good teacher. I can't really articulate my thoughts as well as I like. And that's why I think, <laughs> I think that's why people keep thinking I'm an asshole because I just say, uh, the first thing that comes to my head <laughs> and usually there's a better way of saying it the second time around <laughs> if you guys can leave uh, like a comment saying what I could do better for next video that would be great if you guys like this video and you guys like this tutorial don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment saying you dig it you don't dig it and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys learned something okay thanks for watching I love you Okay, bye. <laughs>